I got a new power station to show you guys. I got the Zendur Super Bass Pro 2000. It's pretty cool. Pretty much could be used in replacement of my entire solar shed. So that's cool. <laughs> kind of cool and ridiculous how far these solar stations, these portable power stations have come. I'm going to fiddle fart with it. I've been using it for a few days now and it's awesome. There's a lot of cool features on it I'm excited to tell you about. Alright guys, we were sent the uh, Zender Super Bass Pro 2000. I've been using it for a couple weeks and I absolutely love it. This whole shed can easily be replaced with this little unit. So guys, the Zendur comes with different attachments. So the unit has a an overload protection. I believe this is called like an R60 solar connection, which they give you the wire to hook that up to. That's this guy right here. Can plug into there and has MC4 connectors on it also. So if you wanted to hook up a smaller solar array, you could use this setup. Anything under 600 watts and between 12 and 60 volts. And then if we want to hook up like our larger solar array here, which is 1,000 watts or up to 1,800 watts. So we have the three different plugs, guys. Like I said, you could plug just the AC plug at your house if you have on grid or if you want to plug it into a generator. We have the connectors that go to the AC plug and then MC4s on the other side for a large solar array. Or the plug with the, R, I believe this is an R60, something like that, uh, plug and MC4 connectors. I like that it's super powerful, a 2000 watt inverter inside of it, pure sine wave inverter. And I could use this thing, we could literally run our cabin for a couple days, like a whole weekend on this one unit. Uh, so I definitely would recommend checking it out. I would definitely use the links in the description box below uh, that Zender gave us. There's great deals on it right now. A, a bunch of other uh, YouTube channels have reviewed this unit, have had nothing bad to say about it. The app connects to it and it connects with a 4G network. This unit actually has a, its own 4G network. You could uh, get its own plan. I believe they give you a year for free when you purchase the unit. Or if you want to extend it longer, you could do that. Anyway, let's try to hook up the solar and pump a little bit of juice into this thing. So guys, when I charged this originally, I charged it on grid up to 100%. So now I'm going to charge it with the solar. If the sun will come back out. <laughs> so here's our wire. We have uh, actually a nice stretch of it. So I shouldn't have to use these extensions that I brought out. Now my solar is disconnected. All right, guys, I have the whole solar array, a thousand watts going in there. I'm looking at the app and I'm putting 1100 watts in there. <laughs> so there we go. It says it takes 28 minutes at a thousand watts. And I just have our solar shed unplugged and the Zendur plugged right into here. Right there, going right to the Zendor. That's like super cool. That's one thing about the little units uh, or other units is they max, they only let you put like 200 watts into them. So they take forever to charge up. This uh, Super Base Pro 2000 can take up to 2400 watts, 1800 watts through the AC plug and 600 watts through the solar plug itself. But because they put the dual MPPT charge controllers in there you can hook up both at the same time 600 watts of solar panels and then another whole 1800 watts of solar panels if you want there are you know restrictions as far as voltages but our solar array only pushes 100 110 volts so it's in the perfect range there for using that ac plug pretty crazy guys technology is awesome people say off grid you got to have no electricity and no this and that but why i mean the closest power line to us right now is over half a mile away probably closer to a mile why not enjoy some of the luxuries 
of you know technology i think this unit's gonna be a hit man i think especially for the price point a thousand watts pumping into that bad boy thousand and two watts 26 minutes guys we're working all day we're going to simulate a power outage and run the most important thing in your house the refrigerator on the zendor super base pro 2000 and see how long it can run the refrigerator and then maybe make some coffee in the morning and do other stuff All right, good morning, guys. I uh, want to do a little update on the Zendur. Uh, it was 9 o'clock last night when we plugged the refrigerator into it. It's 11.30 now, so you have, what, 14 and a half hours? Uh, this originally said it would run it for 15 hours, but that was because it was running on full bore when you first plug it in, compressor run and stuff like that. Uh, refrigerators don't run 24 7. The refrigerator right now is running at 60 watts and it's at 65 percent still. It says it'll run it for 24 more hours at 60 watts and that again is if it's running full time. We also plugged in uh, the battery chargers and the, we charge in our phones and we charge like the dogs uh, trackers and stuff for their GPS collars so we've been doing a lot on it in the last 14 hours and all night and it's at 65 percent so it went out down about 30 percent because we started at 97 percent uh jen's just cleaning up in the kitchen here a little bit but we could very easily run the whole cabin on that zendur for a couple days so zendur has their spring sale going on right now uh, march 20th through march 31st you're gonna get some great deals they're prepping everybody for a summer of adventure and they want you to have a unit like this of your own so check out the spring sale on the zendur website all the links are below in the description box and there's a bunch of different options there for you guys they're also putting a 100 dollars extra coupon on top of their spring sale if you shop on amazon so i'm going to put all the links to that stuff below uh this is a good opportunity for you guys to pick up a unit for yourself okay thanks for watching this video we appreciate you and we'll see you on the next one